Hey folks, as you can see, this is a target. This is 22 mini mag, um, and this is in a Ruger Mark IV target with a five and a half inch barrel. Um, just got the gun yesterday, took it home, cleaned the heck out of it, took it to the range today, and what you're looking at here is um, mini mags being shot out of a 10 round magazine. First magazine went as planned. Everything worked great. Um, 9 out of 10, a little 6 inch from 7, 21 feet, 7 yards. Um, not too bad really for the first time I fired this weapon. Um, unfortunately, the, the rest of the range time was spent extracting fail to extract rounds, fail to fire, and here's a Winchester. Uh, this was the second magazine, 10 round magazine, that I used on this weapon just to see the difference in ammunition from supposedly better ammunition like the CCI mini mags versus Winchester which is supposed to be trash. Um, the Winchester fired all 10 rounds just like the CCI mini mag did on the first magazine that I used with it. Um, and then coming up here um, you'll see where this thing started jamming again. This is shooting opposite the target like it's a the target's actually like a hostage and shooting over the shoulder to the perp. So I didn't miss the head. I was, wasn't shooting at the head, I was shooting to the right of the head. And I think this is when the failure to fire and the failure to eject started happening. So I don't know. Um, as it progressed it got intensively worse. Um, I'd say it was 20% of the time it was jamming, which is, I mean, that's pretty unreliable when you've got a, something you're dependent on and, and it jams 20% of the time. It's not very dependable. So hopefully it just needs some rounds run through it. I ran a total of about 250 rounds through it today and it progressively got worse. So I'm assuming that it was dirty. Maybe I, I didn't get all the grease out of it. I don't know. Um, I'll take it back to the range in a few days here. I got it soaking in some <laughs> solvent just to try and make sure it's pretty clean. And then I'll lube it up real good the next time. Um, I got some other magazines coming for it. All these are the factory. You would think they'd be better. But we'll see what happens when I get the other magazines. I'll take it back to the range and we'll see if it wasn't a magazine issue. Um, I'm not really sure why it was jamming, but if it continues to do that, I have to send it back to Ruger and they'll have to figure it out because I'm not a gunsmith. Anyway, just wanted to give you a little bit of update on what, it, what was going on and what happened here. Um, anyway, that's the gist of it. I wasn't real happy with it, with that kind of failure to fire and failure to eject rounds, even with good ammunition, the CCI. <clears throat> um, I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. We'll see what happens, and I'll let you know later on. Okay, be safe out there. Be careful. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Adios.